Hi and welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. This is a quickie guys, we're just going to kind of um, give a little idea. So I wanted to use the idea of the patchwork but using pattern bars in it. Um, so I've cut a piece of glass to the size of the mould I want to use. Um, today I've decided to use a slightly different mould that I've got that I've not used before which is this. So I've got to take into consideration and thought that this is going to kind of um, go in like this at a, a point in time. And I'm even going to kind of draw that square on the piece of glass to think about how I want my pattern to incorporate that in a mould, which is quite an important consideration when you're using a kind of mould like this that has a sort of quite a lot of depth in it, how you might want to change your pattern to incorporate that. So I'm first of all going to draw out the square and then I'm going to start loading it up like I did with this. Um, with uh, kind of different coloured pieces of glass in a patchwork effect, but also using a bit of pattern bar. So as you can see, I've started doing the frame around. Now I'm kind of keeping my block colours together as I like. And then because we've got this sort of feeling of a frame, that will suit the mould. And then we're going to fill up the middle with sort of um, slightly different marini, but it will also be feel like a different area because of how we filled it. So as you can see now I'm filling up the middle and I am using Marini here. Guys, it, you know, you don't need to do this because I know that Marini is ex expensive but you could just use Frit um, or something else. If you did want to go with the Marini, they are cut a bit longer than normal. Um, you'd want to buy cane and cut them yourself. But that's because I'm sort of leaving them quite spaced out because I want them to sort of melt together and even leave a bit of kind of um, clear spaces in between because I like that effect. Um, and these ones, you know, with the holes in the grate as well. Um, so I'm just literally going to fill up the last bit like this. And then it will go into the kiln on a full fuse. Um, like we normally do with these. So here it is, all finished and ready to go in the kiln on a full fuse. Um, as you can see, these bits are a bit longer. We probably will get a bit of pushing out at the edges. I'm not going to damn them, I'm just going to let it be. Um, and I think it's a really pretty vibrant piece, but let's see. Uh, so here it is out of the kiln fully fused. Now I've cut the edges off. I'm sorry, I forgot to do a video before, I wasn't thinking, um, and I'm on my own, so I'm just um, filming it myself. Um, I've cut the edges off and I've actually given this side a sandblast. Um, there's still a bit of roughness on the edge here. Uh, even with sandblasting, but then I'm going to actually flip it and fire it this way up. Um, it's a much better surface and also I like it. I prefer this side. There's always a kind of consideration you want to think about when you're um, doing pieces. Is once you've fired it, have a look at both sides and what do you want your top and what do you want your bottom? And I want this to be my top. So I'm going to flip it, fire polish it to make the sides nice and also to give this top a nice um, shinier rather than the kind of kiln shelf. Um, edge of it and so that will go in now for another tack fuse. So here it is out of the kiln after the fire polish. Um, it's got a lot of divot. It's got a massive amount of divot. Guys I'm going to fire, I'm going to, so your, your, ish, your things you can do with divot are, and it's probably I didn't clean this well enough, this is why you should clean your products before you put them in the kiln. Bad Tabitha. Um, okay so what I'm going to do is your two options are you take a layer of clear powder and put a sprinkling of clear powder in on and then full fuse it. Um, that's going to lose my sharp edges. Um, or I'm going to sandblast it. And the problem is if I sandblast it, it may become a bit dull afterwards, but I think I'm going to sandblast it and maybe take it up to a contour fuse. Um, so hopefully it'll come back to be shiny. And then I'm going to put it on this mold to slump. So then it will go on this mold to slump. Um, like this, I will put a spirit level on to to um, uh, make sure it's flat in the kiln and we'll put this on a slump with a kind of a normal anneal. It's only kind of two layers, it's not particularly thick, um, but it has been in a few times just now because it's had to go in a few times because of my, my, uh, my um, various things. Um, so right now I'm going to sandblast it. I will then put it on a put contour fuse, which means it will lose some of the sharpness around the edges but it will um, hopefully come back up shiny because I don't really want a matte finish on this piece. Then I'm going to put it on the slumping mold and slump it. So here it is out of the um, kiln and uh, fully slumped. Um, what I love is using the pattern here so that we've done a different pattern in the middle so that you've kind of got this 
outside edge and then this sort of rainbow pattern in the middle kind of coming in which is a really kind of good way of thinking about your slumping and how to incorporate that in the pattern of the piece. So guys, when I'm finishing my pieces like this, I always put these bumpers, you might be hard to see on this, but um, they're sort of these little plastic things on the bottom of my pieces. I even, when I'm doing small pieces like this, I put them on the bottom because it just sort of makes it, they're very inexpensive, but it just makes it feel like it's a sturdier base and it also raises the piece up a bit which lets, lets light come in underneath a bit more um which personally is something i really like um so that's the thing to think you can get these these sheets of them really really cheap off kind of places like ebay or probably amazon so have a look out for those and it's a good way of finishing off your pieces now, i really hope you've liked this video it's a great way of using up some scrap and if you have please subscribe